Hi, my name is Bibika and welcome to Diving Dogs Crochet. Today I want to show you yet another bag tutorial. If you want to see all my other bags, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. Earlier this year I made this knot bag, which was very popular. So I thought I would make another one, just in another color and in another stitch, which works up a lot faster and doesn't take up as much yarn. I will begin from the bottom of the bag, then work my way up the body. Finally do the straps and I will show you the whole process from the beginning to the end. When you're done crocheting, you take the, sh uh, the long strap, push into the short one. That's it, then put it on your wrist and then you have your hands free to do whatever and you have all your stuff just by the hand. I will of course leave a link for both bags for the written pattern down below. First a little about the materials. For the yarn I've used this 100% cotton yarn in a sport weight 2, but I have put the yarn double, so double stranded. You can use a medium weight 4 instead, that will give you the same result. And you can see all the info right here, that probably some in Danish, but yeah, that's it. So I will write down in the description how much yarn I have used for this bag. Then I've used a 4mm crochet hook and some scissors, and a tapestry needle, and a few stitch markers. So, let's begin. When you're crocheting double-stranded, you don't have to use two skeins of yarn. You can just use the outside and the inside end, and take them together, and crochet as one. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, grab it from the middle and pull. Then we create a chain, so yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we keep chaining until we have 31 chains. When we have 31 chains, we will now begin working into the chains and we skip the first one, so skip the first chain Move on to the second chain and half double crochet into this. So yarn over, insert the hook in the second chain and half double crochet. Continue with another half double crochet. So find your next chain, yarn over and half double crochet in the next. Continue with one half double crochet in every chain all the way. And then when you're across, you have 30 half double crochet. Then you place a stitch marker in the final stitch, in the third, 30th stitch, right here. And then you continue in this final chain. You just did a half double crochet in the final one. You will do another four half double crochet in the same chain. So just continue with half double crochet in this final chain until you have five in total, including the one with the stitch marker in. This is four and the final one. Five. So I have five, one, two, three, four, five in this final chain down here. Now I place a stitch marker in this fifth one and then I continue down the other side of the chain with one half double crochet in every stitch. So begin with this first one over here, yarn over and insert the hook and half double crochet. Then when you're all the way at the top you place a stitch marker in the final stitch and you do another three half double crochet in this final chain. So yarn over and continue crocheting in the same chain. Just do three half double crochet. And that's it. So now we continue on the opposite side again. So just continue with one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then one half double crochet in every stitch, all until the first 
Then when you make it to the first stitch marker, you mm, remove it. And then you do two half double crochet in every stitch all until the next stitch marker. So insert the hook in the next stitch, half double crochet, then do another half double crochet in the same stitch. Then in the next stitch, two half double crochet in the same stitch. Another half double crochet in the same stitch. And then two half double crochet in the same stitch. Remove the final. And then when you reach the next stitch marker, this one, you will do two single crochets, uh, sorry, two half double crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. I will just leave it over there. So two half double crochet in this next one. And then two half double crochet in this, 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 and in this one. And then you have the base of your bag. So now we will just continue up along the sides of the bag. So you will just continue with half double crochet in every stitch, just one half double crochet in every stitch. And you will just be working in spirals in rounds and round and round. And you will be working up along the edges, the sides of the bags, until the uh, it's top. I continued for 16 centimeters in total and I will now begin the first strap. So I ended up all the way at the edge and I will now do 10 half double crochet beginning from the edge and all the way in for 10 half double crochet. So we just keep on working for 10 half double crochet. This is one. And that's 10. Now I will turn. So I chain two, one, two, then I turn. And when you have 12 centimeters from the edge, then you cut the yarn, leave a bit of yarn for sewing and pull it through the loop. And then begin the other strap. You count 10 stitches from the edge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's it. Then you attach the yarn. Then you chain 2. And then you crochet 10, half double crochet back and forth, but then for 30 centimeters. So this strap will be. So now when we have both straps all done, both the long one and the short one, we will now fold the straps like this so we can connect them to the bottom base of the bag. So you fold them down and then you find, whoops, then you find your tapestry needle and then we can sew them on the base. So you just attach them just like this, 
and then you sew all the way across just like this in every stitch all the way across and and then when you're done you take the longest strap and put into the small one just like this then you can put it on your arm and wear it just like this and then you're done i hope you found this tutorial easy to follow if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you again soon bye